Oh, howdy y'all. We're hunting us some game. Looks like a bear, a real big grizzly over there. About to make us some stew. Got this. Good Lord! Howdy y'all, tuned in to another episode of Cooking With Yours Truly. Look like I've been playing a lot of Red Dead lately. Can't you tell? Oh, these? Had to tussle with a bear. A couple of nicks and scratches, but none of the few things a whiskey can't fix. So I've been hearing something. A man named Mr. Pearson has the idea of cooking better stew than moi. Let me tell you something. Ain't no yellow belly man gonna cook better student chef heart, you hear? Other words, we got real to some tooth and nail. The bear gave me a couple nicks and scratches, but it's okay. I came out there with my hat and my dignity. That's all I need. Let's get started. All right, time to stop lazing around and get to work. Start by combining the flour and the pepper in the bowl and then toss in that beef, whatever meat you manage to hunt. Make sure you coat it well. You set your largest cooking pile in the campfire and heat three teaspoons of oil. Once it's hot, add the beef. A few pieces at a time, making sure not to overcrowd the pot with meat. This is a meal, not a Navy boot camp. <laughs> Cook the meat, turn the pieces until browned on all sides. This should take you about five minutes per batch, or even time to enjoy the bottle of whiskey, you know what I mean? Just don't forget to add a bit more oil as needed between batches. Now you're gonna get that pot, begin to slice up some carrots, celery, onions, a little bit of garlic if you want some, whatever you need. Remember, it's going to be some nice brown bits at the end of that pot. We call that fun. Now you want to begin to add all that vegetables in there. Add your chicken stock, your vinegar, <laughs> add a little whiskey if you want to, and let those get nice and soft. Don't forget to season the veggies now, you hear? All right, now once them veggies are nice and brown with that fun, we're going to add your beef in there. And then we're going to add our beef broth, our red wine, our vinegar, our bay leaves, we're going to have a hell of a time. We're going to stoke that fire to bring the paint to a nice boil and let it reduce to a slow simmer. Now that's the easy part. Now we're going to cover your cooking pot and leave the stew to cook, skim, and broth from time to time until the meat is tender. It should take about one and a half hours. Which is enough time for me to regale you with another tale from my outlaw days. Yeehaw! No? All right then. Well, after that, undo your pot. Get some bowls in there, pour it up for you and your partners with a nice bottle of whiskey, and you'll be having a good old time. Look like this stew here is complete. Let's give her a whippersnapper and taste and see what's up with it. Oh boy, this smells delightful. Oh, god damn! This meat's tender. Has some fresh scallions in the garden I didn't pick out. Tastes great. Flavor's there. I say Mr. Pearson ain't got nothing on me. That's what I reckon I say. But uh, make it for yourselves and let me know how it goes. Once again, y'all, it's been an episode of Cooking With Heart, and you know, come back for all your needs. It's going to be the rudeness, tootness, spoonness damn episode you've ever seen. Don't forget to press that comment, like, subscribe button, all that. Do that. All right. Chef Heart out.